How can autonomous vehicles save our roads, improve our economy, our safety, and our sustainability? I'm going to tell you all about that today. My name is Tyler Lay. I'm a professor at Oklahoma State University, and I have dedicated my life to improving roads and bridges, but I am tired of incremental changes. We need a massive, huge, game changer approach, and that is what this video is all about. Peter Diamandis says, we don't need a 10% change. We need a 10X change. Thank you, brother, for that quote. That's exactly right. Our roads are in pitiful shape. We've got to do something about them. People estimate that we need to spend about $170 billion per year, and the current spending levels are less than 50% of this. We have to do something better. The American Society of Civil Engineers have all gotten together and raided and given our roads a D. That's horrible. Again, we've got to make big improvements on this. The National Academy of Engineers. Yeah, that's like the Hall of Fame of engineers. have all gotten together and ranked the grand challenges that Gunner face the next generation of engineers. And they've rated restoring infrastructure. Yeah, we made the list. I don't think that's a good thing. I think that's really bad. We're right between the brain and nuclear safety, yeah? We've gotta, again, make things better. We need solutions, though, that are gonna create money, reduce traffic, improve safety, improve sustainability, and create long-lasting roadways. So how can we ever do this? The idea is pretty simple. We're gonna make separate roads just for trucking, just for heavyweight trucks that use autonomous, and electric vehicles. This is a concept that was developed by my colleagues at Oklahoma State, Penn State, and UNC Charlotte. I'm gonna link and list to the names below. Check out the folks that contributed. We're gonna start with the trucks, the 18-wheelers. They are critical vehicles when it comes to our infrastructure. Number one, they carry more than $9.1 trillion in goods every year. That's more than 50% of our gross domestic product in the United States, and as e-commerce increases, this number is going to go nothing but up. These vehicles weigh 20,000 times what a typical car does, and they travel more than 140 billion, with a B, lane miles every year. And this is why every road, every bridge is designed based on the number of trucks that it's expected to see. These trucks every year are involved in over four thousand deaths and only 10 percent of these deaths are the drivers of the vehicles that's why when they wreck there's lots of other people that end up dying also these trucks cost around 50 cents per mile about six miles per gallon is what they get at three dollars per gallon and this gasoline this diesel fuel produces seven percent of the United States greenhouse gases. That's more than 300 million tons of CO2 every single year. In the trucking industry, they have challenges as well. They need more drivers, long haul trucking drivers. There's more than a 93% turnover rate. Now these folks are away from their homes, their families, their beds, 200 days out of the year. There's more than a 30% understaffing in drivers. You talk to people in the truck industry and they will tell you that they need drivers. It's a big deal. Traffic is a huge deal to this industry as well. They estimate more than $63.4 billion are lost every year because of traffic that these trucks are tied up in. Now, one way to solve this issue, and people are already working on it, is to use autonomous vehicles. Tesla has the semi, and it seems to be the first that's gonna roll out using autonomous and electric engines. There are lots of other people working on this, though. Packar and Volvo, awesome companies doing some awesome, really innovative things. But the autonomous vehicle industry has a huge problem. They have a hard time driving with other humans, and I'm sure they're gonna figure it out someday, but humans, we're crazy. We text and drive, we swerve, we do all kinds of nutty things in our cars, right? How do you drive with us? We're kind of wild and nuts, but there's a way to solve this. What if? we created a dedicated truck corridor that designed to be long lasting. We could design it to be like airfield pavement, to be like 100 year long trucking pavement. 
these trucks now can be autonomous. And since they're separated from other vehicles, right, it's much easier to make them drive. Robots are great at driving with other robots. These trucks could be powered with electrical overhead lines and monitored and controlled with 5G wireless internet. This would allow the trucks to travel continuously without stopping for fuel and constantly be monitored and checked on. This would also charge their batteries. So once they pull off this corridor, they'll be able to drive the last 10 to 50 miles to deliver their materials. This is called the Autonomous Truck Corridor, the ATC. You heard it first here, baby. This is a rendering of what it might look like. We have, of course, autonomous trucks. And where would this be located? Well, there's this right-of-way that already exists in between a lot of roads or near a lot of roads, and we would put the ATC right there using existing right-of-way on current highway systems. The ATC would go in the middle, the other cars would drive on the outside. There's other configurations that we can talk about in future videos. This corridor also is gonna have overhead power lines in these trucks. Yep, they're gonna to connect to them. So there's continuous supply of electricity to these trucks. This is like an electric train hooking up to these overhead power lines. And guess what? There's trucks that already exist that can do this. They can already hook up to the overhead power lines. This is not crazy, wild technology. This is stuff that already exists. There are amazing benefits. We're gonna get faster delivery times, more reliable delivery times. We're gonna know when our Amazon Prime is gonna show up and we're gonna be able to see it at the door. It's gonna to be totally awesome. There's gonna be longer lasting roadways. Why? Because we're pulling trucks off the road and putting them on their own dedicated highway. That's designed for them and the passenger cars, the lighter vehicles, they can use the existing roads. This is gonna improve safety by putting these trucks on their own roadways. And this is gonna, of course, decrease our greenhouse gases because we can use electricity instead of diesel. So how are we gonna pay for this? How are we gonna fund this? Well, diesel trucks, as I said before, they cost about 50 cents a mile just in gasoline to operate. Electric trucks, according to Tesla, is gonna cost anywhere between 21 cents to seven cents per mile, depending on when you buy your electricity. So if we charge 25 cents per mile for 75% of the nation's trucks, we got them driving on these corridors, it would generate 30 billion dollars per year, 30 billion dollars. This is 50% of what the US currently spends on our highways. We could also use the extra capacity, the extra internet capacity, and it could be sold to the public. This is another way to generate money and help pay for this. So how can you help? Number one, you can give this video a thumbs up and you can share this video with as many people as you know, especially influencers, especially people that you think can help this. Start a discussion. What are your thoughts? What are your comments? Do you like this? Let me know. Do you have questions? Let me know and I'll make future videos where I'll answer your questions because I bet I bet you've got some, and I'm looking forward to hearing them. I love talking to my viewers. You guys are so smart, and I'm excited to have you part of this. If you wanna help, if you wanna get involved, email me at helptheatc at gmail.com. Tell me a little bit about yourself and how you think you can help. So in conclusion, the ATC can be transformative, a crazy improvement tool for our roads, our trucking, our retail, our autonomous vehicles. Get them started, and it can fund itself as well. This is a long journey, baby, but it begins here and it begins with you. I need you, we're gonna need your help. We need help from everyone to get there. And I love this quote, the day before something is a breakthrough. It is a crazy idea and I know this seems crazy, but I think this has got legs. I think this can happen. I hope you can help me. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Think about subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.